suppose that's what I'm most excited about is I still feel like we've just scratched the surface. You know, we are still only 15 months into our automation journey and almost on a weekly basis, the team are, are finding new and exciting ways to continue to, to push the envelope. And I suppose that that exists both within the capability that we understand today, but also the capability that is coming down down the road. So I'm excited the fact that we think that we can get to somewhere between 75 and 80 percent automation in our, our back office um, over the next 18 months. So we've got a very clear roadmap and agenda to, to ensure that happens. I think as excitingly, though, we are starting to figure out how RPA can be used in other parts of the business, either on an ongoing basis or increasingly in ad hoc pieces of work, um, which, you know, definitely was not part of our thought process six to 12 months ago. So when we're we're engaged in projects now, um, rather than just BAU, you know, RPA has got a seat at the table to figure out whether it can help our change function, IT function, data services teams, whatever it might be, um, deliver a project faster or or to a higher standard by figuring out how we deploy RPA into those environments as, as well as operational stuff. So I think it's just been a really exciting evolution of, of technology and capability, um, ambition and, and aspiration that I don't see running out of steam anytime soon. And and to be sitting here having done as much as we've delivered, delivered the efficiencies, delivered the cultural change and still feel like we have got so much to go at. Um, there's not many programs that are that exciting um, happening within the world at the moment. And I genuinely believe automation is one of them. Thank you for visiting the Automation Anywhere YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button and learn how to build your own digital workforce with our automation success platform. Get your free demo today at automationanywhere.com.